Hey there, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives. One workout at a time. Quick thought in this video that I'm calling, get you a word from God. Okay. You know, uh, life situations demand and require sometimes that we've just got to hear from the Lord. We don't need to read the Wall Street Journal, Rolling Stones, Cosmopolitan, something off the internet. You know, Google doesn't have it. YouTube doesn't have it. Sometimes nothing will do but a word from God. It's better than your friends, your family, you know, even your pastor, because all these things need to line up with the word of God anyway, in order to be productive, constructive, fruitful, and all of that. So how do you get a word from God? Here's two thoughts. Um, the first is get you a word from the word, from the Bible. The scriptures are, <laughs> I mean, if you ever want to get a word from God, you can get it from the Bible, okay? You can be rock solid certain that that is a definitive word from God, okay? And and so, you know, go to the Logos, L-O-G-O-S. Get you an anchor verse when you're going through something, okay? Um, now, whether that word, I mean, it's unique to everybody. I mean, it could be the quintessential Go to verse Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. That's a good one. Or perhaps it's, it's New Testament counterpart, Ephesians 2, verse 10, that says, for we are God's workmanship, this masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. That's a good one. Or maybe it's the uh, the most highlighted verse on the YouVersion Bible app in 2023, Isaiah 41, verse 10 which says, do not fear. I mean, by the way, God's speaking in first person here. Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my righteous right hand. Come on, man. That's a good word. Or maybe it's the beautiful, beautiful Philippians 4, 6 and 7 that says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Man, what a promise. But for me, you know, my Logos word was Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, I will tell you that I don't have a tattoo on my body. But you know what? If I did, it would probably be Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 over my massive left bicep here under this Nike running shirt. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So in order for me and you, for me to get through what I'm going through, man, I just got to do three things, man. I got to simplify and distill it down and dilute it down to one thing. And that is to just trust God with everything I got and try not to figure it out with my brain and believe that God's got my back. I don't believe that he does. So how do you get a word from God? Go to the word of God. Find you an anchor verse that resonates with you. And then just begin to confess it, declare it, memorize it, say it, integrate it, personalize it, right? Here's one more thought before I close the video out. And that is get you a rhema word from God. Rhema, R-H-E-M-A. What's a rhema word? Well, it's not scripture, but it is scriptural. Scriptural. This is a word from the Holy Spirit to you. It is specific and explicitly for you right there where you're at, right when you need it, precisely when you need it. You know, and it's, it's that whisper from the Lord. The Bible says you'll hear a voice behind you. It says, this is the way. Walk in it. That's the voice of the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and the stranger they will not follow. Well, how does he speak to us? Well, in a variety of ways, but I think most, most specifically through the Holy Spirit. And even if you get, you know, some other advice from other people, you need to filter it through the grid and framework of the Bible. So back to the Holy Spirit, you know, a rhema word. This is a word for you. It's a now word. It's a fresh word. It's it really resonates with you. You know, for example, you know, when I, you know, my life imploded here last year and I had to leave everybody that uh, I knew and cared about, that cared about me and go down to the Louisiana Center for the Blind for a nine month full immersion to learn some independent living skills because my life was uh, totally reset 
through some circumstances in my life, um, God, by his spirit, gave me a rainbow word. And that was, you are going to make it. You're not alone. And Jesus is your redeemer. And so I held on to that tight fisted. I wouldn't let it go. And I said it over and over and over and over again. I don't know, hundreds of times. I went back to, I am not alone. I am not alone. I am not alone. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Jesus is my redeemer. You know, things are not always going to be as hard as they are right now. Always. So it was a sustaining, preserving, upholding word for me to keep me between the guardrails of God's word on the straight and narrow, on the pathway of purity and to stay out of the ditches of excess or worry or fear. So there you go. Just a thought. I hope that encourages you today. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you. I'm never against you. Make it a good day. See ya.